The Primordium skin bundle just released in Valorant, but should you buy it? The whole bundle costs around $90, which we can all agree is an insane amount to spend on some cosmetics in a free game, but in terms of Valorant and other skin bundles we've seen, how does this one compare and is it worth it? Firstly, let's compare it to some of the other exclusive tier skin bundles at the same price point. Collections like Neo Frontier and Crypto to Chaos cost the same as this bundle, and I would argue that those are better, whether it be due to the incredible animations or awesome sound design. On the other hand though, there are a lot of other exclusive tier bundles that Primordium definitely beats out, like Glitch Pop, Singularity, Sentinels of Light and Chronovoid, they're all fine, but I definitely think I'd choose this new bundle over those ones and they are the same price. Next, let's talk about the melees of this skin bundle, which are the Blades of Primordium. The main selling point here is the running animation, which we haven't really seen before in Valorant. It honestly does make you feel like you're running faster, obviously it doesn't, but it's a cool new animation. The other animations for these blades are amazing too. You spin them around when you equip them, the swinging animations are great, and then the inspect is sick, where the blades light on fire after you slide them against each other. If you were to buy these blades alone, it would cost 4,350 Valorant points, which is a lot, and it's also worth remembering you normally never want to buy just the nice skin of a collection in Valorant, because on its own it's so much more expensive. If you do want the Blades Primordium, you're better off buying the whole bundle at that point, but I'll talk more about the full bundle price and all that towards the end of the video. The finisher of this bundle is another obvious selling point, as similar to the Champions 2023 bundle, when you go and stand underneath it, the whole environment around you changes. I almost think the colors here are a bit much, it's almost hard to make out some of the details on the skin and stuff, but it's only for a few seconds anyway, and it's something different. Even without that extra feature, this finisher is still a cool one, even if it is a little short. Now the weapons of this bundle are going to have the default animations, but the different models and VFX are going to make up for it. I love the lava flowing out of the skin as you shoot, but I think my favourite thing about this skin line is the sound design. It's a big call to make this early, but I think the kill sounds here could be on the level of Prelude to Chaos. Maybe there's a bit of recency bias there, but it's definitely close for me. Then just the rest of the sounds in general, whether it's the shooting, the reloading, or even the inspecting, overall I just love how this bundle sounds. The variants for this collection are decent, I'm not big on the green, but then I think the blue and especially gold variants are incredible, and honestly the default variant isn't that bad either. One thing that I honestly think makes this bundle stand out a bit is that it includes both a Vandal and a Phantom skin. Normally with bundles there'll be some random weapon you'll hardly ever use like a Bucky or an Ares, but as someone who swaps between the Vandal and Phantom a lot, having both of them in the same bundle, a bundle that was already really good with the sound, the effects, everything like that, it gives just that little bit of extra incentive to actually buy it, having both of those two weapons. Overall, in terms of Valorant skins, I think this is a really solid bundle. The price is still steep at 8,700 Valorant points, but the effects with the lava and everything I think are really cool and unique enough to buy, as the only really similar bundle in the game is Elder Flame. If you're watching this video right after it's uploaded, I'll be live on Twitch playing ranked with the Primordium skins, so come say hi, as I'd love to know what you guys think of the skin bundle, whether you think it's any good, and if you're planning on buying it or not.